Alright, so one method for joining timber together is a dowel. So a dowel is a round piece of timber like this. It's got little flutes, okay, down, running down its um, edge. What that is for is for the glue. I'll go into that in a second. Okay, all we've got to do quite easily, drill, drill piece. Obviously we need a pencil for marking out, ruler and some tape, okay? Now all we've got to do, if we put our dowel up against the drill like this, we want to mark out roughly halfway, okay? With that tape, we then make a little flag on our drill piece, like, if I can get it to sit in my hands easily to show you, we sit it there like that. Okay, make sure it's straight. And then wrap that tape around the drill piece. Leave a little bit sticking out like that. And that is the depth that we then need to go to. So using our drill, we wind this out, slide our drill piece in, tighten it up. Twist that chuck until we click. All right, we're now good to go. So the reason we do this is, as you can see, as it's spinning, you know what depth you're gonna to need to go to. So that's now set. All we need to do is mark out where we're gonna put our uh, dowels. So if we are going to put this piece here on top of that piece there like that, let's say we're going to mark one there and there, okay? That line, we just transcribe through there and then we find the middle. So this is 19 mil material. So the middle of that would be nine and a half millimeters. Okay, so we mark that out on both ends, like so. All right, now with the drill, we're gonna make sure that we sit perfectly on the crosshairs that we've created. And we wanna make sure that we are straight that way and straight that way. If you need to get a friend to make sure that you're straight, feel free to, okay? And all we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna drill. Okay, and I could tell that we were in the right spot because all the swarf that was here, as I was drilling, it got moved away by the little flag that we've got going on. So then we can do the same thing here. Just like that, this one's now done. We can take that out and we can work on our next one now. So we, we can see where our marks were. Turn it around. So again, we bring that down, bring that down, nine and a half millimeters in, which is there and there. Okay, and again, we can just make sure we're in the right spot. And drill. Now I'm not gonna do this one yet because I'm gonna show you another way to do it. I'm not sure if you can see it from there, but this, is, this drill piece is wandering simply because it's in my hand, which is a little bit movable. We can use the drill press, okay, to do this one and it's gonna be a lot more accurate. I'll show you that part in a second. All we need to do, sit that in there, make sure that we have half of it, sit the other one on top, make sure that they sit and there's no gap in the middle. All right, so that there is pretty, pretty all right. Okay, I'm happy with that, so that one's good to go. Um, the next step would be over at the drill press, which I'll run you through right now. All right, now that we've found ourselves over at the drill press, we feed our material into a vise. Okay, we need to make sure that we're using a vise. We tighten it up so it's not gonna wander. We line up our drill piece to be in the spot that we need it. All right, right there, I'm happy with that. We can turn it on. Make sure we're still in the right spot because this does vibrate. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, and quite simply, we work our way through until, until we hit that 
masking tape depth stop, which is right there. Turn it off, wait for it to stop spinning, loosen it, get the rubbish out and we're good to go. So this one's a lot more centered than this one here was by hand. All right, now that we've got our holes drilled for our uh, dowel joints, okay, it's time to glue and clamp. There's a few different clamping options. Okay, we've got a bar or a sash clamp. We have an F clamp here, okay, F because it looks like an F. And we've got quick grips. So we've got two of this size and a few of this size. Okay, they don't provide heaps of strength, but they're really good for just quickly holding stuff together. So glue into the holes. We don't need a massive amount. We just need a little bit in there. It's best to swirl it around the side, just like that. Same for up here, swirl it around the side. You can grab your dowel. As you go in, best bet is to twist it slightly. And that gets the glue all the way up to the sides like that. Now, for along this face, we're gonna run a little bit of glue, like this. All right. And then with your finger, just gonna rub it in so that it's spread across that entire face there. If you have any excess, feel free to just wipe it onto your other piece, because right. we will be doing the exact same thing to over there. So now that piece is ready to clamp up. We can do the same for in here, run a bit of glue through there, bit of glue through there, and glue on that face there, like that. Okay, they can then slot together like so, and you'll see some glue does stick out. Okay, that's fine, we can clean that up. So now that we've put the glue in, it, um, when you squeeze it with your fingers, you should be able to see some sticking out. We're now gonna use the bar or sash clamp on this first part. We're gonna slide this one as far up as we can. Okay, so it's not quite lining up with a hole. So we need to move it back slightly to there. Okay, we can now wind this in slowly. Make sure that there's no fingers in the way. Okay, we're gonna make this nice and tight and you should see more glue come out, okay? So we've got little bubbles of glue um, just popping through. So that's a bar clamp or sash clamp. With the F clamp, okay, this one's sort of the old school version of a quick clamp, okay? We get it to sit where we want it and then we just twist this handle in like that, okay? And again, more glue's popping out. Now with these quick grips, there's two different levers. So we've got one here, okay, that's for a fast movement or to loosen it, and this one here, which tightens it. Don't know if you can see that from there. So to do that, we just tighten it like that. Again, we've got more glue coming out, and this is the exact same thing, but on a bigger scale. So you've got this lever here to loosen it or to do quick, um, big adjustment, or this one here, which acts like a trigger, okay, and it gets tighter each time. And you can put that one on there. Now, as I said, there is glue popping out now, which means that we're at an excess of glue. That's very easy to sand off at the end or with a bit of wet paper towel, just run it off um, and it'll disappear. The reason we need to make sure we get rid of glue, all right, if we don't and then we put a stain or a clear coat on it, it's, it shows up as a little white spot even after it's dried. Okay, so always clean up, wet paper towel, just cleans it up nicely.